Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. Today is our 11th lecture of our free course Electrical Design of Transmission Lines and Distribution Lines. In previous lecture we have studied about Letter of Intent, Bill of Quantity and Estimation, Survey of Power Lines, Permission is needed for Transmission and Distribution Lines, Load, Connected Load, Maximum Demand, Demand Factor, Diversity Factor, SLD preparation, single line diagram or one line diagram. We have also prepared the single line diagram and one line diagram in ETAP and AutoCAD. Nominal voltage and rated voltage. Calculating phase to phase clearance of transmission lines. Phase to ground vertical clearance of transmission lines. Phase to ground horizontal clearance of transmission lines. Calculating the weight of steel. Structural drawings. Clearance from the highest point of the building. Height of towers for different voltage levels, span of transmission lines, tower types of towers, calculating number of disc insulators used for transmission lines, calculating the cable size. All these topics have been studied in, in previous lectures. All these lectures are available on my YouTube channel. Here I can show you my YouTube channel. You can see here, this is my YouTube channel and from here you can see the design of transmission lines and distribution lines in playlist there is a separate uh, playlist for that design of transmission lines and distribution lines you can view here on the playlist every all the lectures previous lectures are here up to 10th lecture and today is 11th lecture all the lectures are here you can watch the lectures now we are going to study today's lecture that is accessories of transmission lines. What are the accessories of transmission lines? In today's lecture, we will study that thing. Before starting the lecture, I have a small request to you that is please subscribe my channel, like and share the videos on your social media profiles. You can also join our WhatsApp group and a Telegram group. The link of these groups are given in the description. From there, you can join our telegram group and whatsapp group first of all we will see about the insulators electrical insulators are used to hold conductors in position and separate the conductor from the transmission towers and poles this is the function of the insulator they hold the conductor in position and provide a separation between conductor from the transmission towers and poles how the insulators look like this is the pin insulator this is the 11 kV pin insulator. Similar type is uh, 33 kV pin insulator is also of same type. This is a po uh, porcelain material made of porcelain material. This one and this of made of poly uh, polymer material. This is a disc insulator. This is one disc and this is a disc fitting. These are the disc fittings. By combining number of discs, we make a suspension insulator. Fitting of a suspension insulator. This is a Suspension insulator of 220 kV. All the fittings are here shown in the diagram. Uh, diagram. First of all, there is an anchor shackle. Anchor shackle looks like this. This is the anchor shaker. In real life, this looks like this. Then there is an eyeball or horn holder type. This is the eyeball horn holder type. And then there is the, uh, after that, there is this is an insulator. That is a suspension insulator. Number of discs are joined together to make a suspension insulator. Then there is a socket cleavage. This is the socket cleavage. And then there is a yoke. This is called the yoke plate. This middle plate is called the yoke plate. And it looks like this. This yoke plate is used here. It is, it is a cord conductor user. That is, four conductors are used for as a single phase. Then the, uh, this cleavage eye. This is the cleavage eye. After that, the cleavage eye is there suspension clamp which holds the conductor this is the suspension clamp this is the fitting of a suspension insulator in insulator there is another term used that is the creepage distance this is the creepage distance the distance shown by the dotted lines is the creepage distance or the distance shown here in red line is the called the creepage distance the creepage distance depends upon the area pollution accordingly the distance of the creepage distance of the insulator is selected 
I can show you that chart. Degree of pollution and recommended creepage distance for insulators. For a clean area, 16 mm per kilowatt creepage distance is needed. For moderately polluted area, 20 mm per kilowatt creepage distance of an insulator is needed. And for industrial areas, there is a more pollution and 22 mm per kilowatt creepage distance is needed. And heavily polluted areas are 25 mm per kilowatt. Suppose if we had to lay down the we had to lay down the 33 kV line. Suppose in a clear uh, in a moderate area, moderate polluted area. Then what is the creepage distance of that insulator? The creepage distance of that insulator can be uh, calculated by 20 into 33. That is 660. Uh, that is 660 mm creepage distance for uh, of the pin insulator should be should have in that area. Then there's the arcing hull. These are the arcing hulls you have seen from the various transmission liners. This type of uh, projections, conductor projection like this type of projection is near suspension insulators. This is the diagram of the arcing hull. What the arcing hull do? What is the function of the arcing hull? Arcing hulls are projected conductors provide protection to the insulators against flashover. Over voltage or transmission lines may occur due to lighting faults, due to lighting faults, switching, due to these high voltage flash over may occur which damage the insulator. To prevent these damages, arcing harness are used. Actually, arcing harness are used to provide a protection against the flash over. In insulators, there are two types of fault. One is flash over, another is puncture. Arcing harness provide protection against the flash overs. Then there is another term, this is the optical ground wire. This is the optical ground wire. The actually, this is the latest technology in the transmission. The ground wire is replaced by optical ground wire. It has a two parts. One is the aluminum sheet. This is the aluminum coating above. And this is the optical fiber. These are the optical fibers. It, it serves dual function. Optical ground for, uh, wire is the type of a cable used in overhead power lines. It is a combination of optical fiber and a overhead ground wire. OPG is a dual function cable that serves as a ground wire, shielding wire and a cable for communication. It has one or more optical fibers, fibers surrounded by a layer of steel and a aluminum wire. Um, the conductive part of the uh, cable serves as the overhead ground wire and the optical fiber is used for a high speed data transmission. But the, that means it serves two functions. One is data transmission. Second function is the function of the overhead ground wire. These balls are seen from various places in the transmission lines. You have seen these suspended balls in various transmission lines. These are called the marker balls. What is the function of these marker balls? Marker balls are also known as aerial visibility marker balls. Is a type of ball used in overhead power lines. They weight about 7.7 kg. The weight of these marker balls are 7.7 .7 kg around that. Diameter is 520 mm to 950 mm. Different size of uh, marker balls are. The diameter is from 520 mm to 950 mm. The colors mainly used are red, orange, yellow and white. Marker balls are used for safety. It saves lives and infrastructure by making guy wire and power lines visible to the low flying helicopters, aircrafts and planes according to the feeder Aviation Administration. These bars are actually used to uh, make a visibility of transmission line for uh, low flying helicopters, aircrafters and planes. They are generally using the transmission near the airfield. Then there is another thing that is the Corona rings. These rings are so uh, you have seen in from various transmission lines or transmission towers, these type of rings, these are the corona rings. Corona rings is the phenom corona is the phenomena of ionization of surrounding air around the conductor that causes a hissing or a cracking noise with production of violet glue in high voltage lines. Corona rings or anti-corona rings encircle the conductors to prevent the corona discharge. Then there is another thing that is the god ring. God ring, these are the god rings. These are the god rings in transmission lines. These one are the god rings in transmission lines, and these are the god rings used in substations. 
this is the diagram which you have studied in the on B Tech and diploma course that the uh, gold ring this is the gold ring this is indicated is the gold ring how it equalizes the voltage across the different DC units gold ring the potential distribution in a string of a suspension insulator is not uniform which results in a reduction in string efficiency gold ring or gold ring encircles the insulators near the power lines and equalize the potential across the each district in suspension insulators and increase the string efficiency it is made up of copper about the string efficiency you have studied in the your btec course there are various problems on the string efficiency using this diagram you are calculating the string efficiency then there is a vibration dampers you have seen various uh, uh, almost all transmission lines these butterfly like structures these butterfly like structures are called the vibration dampers vibration dampers on high voltage transmission lines can reduce the vibration of the wire caused by the wind thereby reducing the probability of accidents these are the type of conductor and the position of the vibration dampers in case of suspension towers the distance is measured from the center of the suspension clamp and in case of tension towers the distance is measured from the end of the clamp these are for acs or most conductor the, the position of the vibration damper is 1.3 meters to 2.7 meters from the if it is a suspension tower from then it is from the center of the suspension clamp if it is the tension tower the distance is measured from the end of the clamp these are the given for all zebra and panther and moose these are the earth wires where this is the portion of the vibration dampers this is called the armor rod armor rods offer protection for the conductors against the abrasion bending compression and arc over they can also be used for repair of conductor with damage to the less than 20 percent of the outer strands these are the this is the called the armor rod then there is another term that the bundle conductor is in a bundle conductor two or more conductors are used as a single phase it is increase the current carrying capacity reduce corona discharge it is generally a user about 220 kV bundle conductors are generally used about 220 kV you have seen this from this transmission power single three conductors are used as a single phase they are called the bundle conductors they are three conductors are separated by a, a structure this structure this is called the spacers these are called the spacers this one is spacer it look like like this and this spacer looks like this okay then there is a structure general structure in this part is of distribution type these are the v cross arms and this is the f bracket v cross arms is used up to 10 degree angle deviation the angle deviation of the line is 10 degree up to 10 degree v cross is used for angle deviation 10 to 60 degree the angle deviation of the line is 10 to 60 degree then two pole structure is recommended for 60 to 90 degree four pole structure is recommended i will show you the four pole structure here this is the four pole structure four poles are four corners are used here you can see the line is coming from this side and this goes from this side 90 degree angle deviation this is the guy insulator this is a diagram of the guy insulator this is the guy insulator and this is the string stay set first of all why wire stay setters are used where we use these stay setters it is used at angle locations greater than 50 degree dead end dead end is tap off and tension pointers shall be provided with the guys guy angle should be 30 degree to 45 degree this is the angle this angle is called the guy angle it should be 30 to 30 degree or 45 degree fix of guys to trees building structure poles pipelines etc shall not be allowed in any case guy wire this is the guy wire and it should not be connected to the trees building structures poles etc they should not this is not allowed no guy insulator shall be installed less than 2.6 meters from the ground this is a guy insulator the vertical height from the guy uh, from the ground level of the of this guy insulator should be minimum 2.6 meters you can keep about 2.6 meters but minimum 2.6 meters below 2.6 meters you are not allowed to keep this guy insulator 
Now I will show you the different parts of the stay set. This is first of all I will show you that this is the drawing which is made by the ruler expression curve REC. It's the drawing of the guy insulator. This is all the specification bill of material, all the things are mentioned in this drawing. What are the accessories? These are the accessories of the guy insulator. This is the guy stay set. This is called the stay set. These are different different parts of the stay set. This is a stay wire, it is made of high steel strength 7 by 3.5 mm. Weight of the guy wire is 430 kg per kilometer. And this is the guy insulator. 